Do you recall what happened over the past 10 years as more and more of us really started to regret the wars in Afghanistan and Iraq? The years kept rolling on, the cost and the death toll kept rising, and we were left wondering why wasn't there more critical voices being heard in the lead up to the invasion? Mainstream journalists, along with most politicians, failed to ask whether or not a military endeavor was the best solution, and then everybody else was left holding the bag. Well, if you count yourself amongst the disgruntled, then take heed, because whatever forces made those wars happen are at it again. Except this time, the target is Iran. You can see it everywhere, as stories about the Persian nation become more and more frequent, garnering an ever-increasing slice of media coverage. It's as if the social consciousness is being massaged and cajoled into accepting Iran as this imminent threat growing in severity for every moment that we aren't over there bombing the life out of them. Now, don't get me wrong, Iran is no joke, but so too are many other nations. And if the last 10 years of failure have proven anything, it's that we cannot hope to secure the world by force alone. But we won't even get the chance to find an alternative if we allow the pro-war side the inch that they need to take their mile. So this time, let's beat the drums of peace louder than those who are beating the drums of war. We can't wait until our armed forces get stuck in another decades-long quagmire and then just bitch about it. So this time, let's think less in terms of us and them, like Muslims and Christians or North Americans and Iranians, and instead take a 21st century mindset where we recognize that 99% of the citizens of these foreign nations are just like the 99% here, and that letting an army go over there and attack them would cause pain and suffering upon people who are no different than us. So instead, if we work together with them and essentially unite the 99% of all of our nations, this global village would be in a far better place to hamper the other 1% who've been hurting the rest of us. We've tried weapons in war for too long and it has yet to help. Let's find out if the power of love can work to heal our planet. I'm Peace Nick Rick with WorldPeaceIsComing.com reminding you to stay positive.